Lord Doskius threatens heresy by his words, Emperor Aspertine. It is not heresy. The artifacts are meant to unlock the secrets of the core. Now that we have found them, we must use them. The discovery of the keys that Mardu hid from us so long ago truly bestows a great responsibility upon we of the Chosen, Marduk's people. But the next conjunction is over fifty years from now, and only at that time can they be used. So it was made. So it has been for millennia. This being so, I remain puzzled, Lord Doskius. Why, after so long, must we expect that law to change? Perhaps our task should be to preserve the keys for the future generations that will be able to use them. Or does Doskius intend to bring his awesome power to bear and create his own conjunction? Watch your tongue, boy. I am the direct descendant of Marduk, son of the Creator. It is my destiny to fulfill his prophecy. If I have to step over your corpse to do so, like I did your father's, so be it. Why do you talk so easily of corpses? How many lives must be wasted to achieve your ends? I very much doubt that it was Marduk's intent. Yes, please. Tell us how you will collapse time and bring the future to the present. Enough! My plan will bring light to the core in days instead of decades. Know this, Emperor Aspertine. In the prophecies, Marduk teaches that one of his blood shall arise to fulfill his words. I am the one who was foretold. It is my destiny. I will not tolerate interference by cowards hiding behind the wooden shield of petty politics. The power of the core shall be mine. He is a dangerous man. He may be of Marduk's blood, but bloodline does not make one great. But he will need the keys to fulfill his plan. Without them, he can do nothing. That is what we should fear. He will take them from us, if he has to start a holy war to do it. Gunnar, can I count on your fleet? As my father's before me. Then protect the relics. You must not let Doskius change the destiny of the world to meet his own whims. As you wish. You should come in and see Uncle. He asked about you today. Zero hope, Maya. I have to work on runner sensors next time. Promise. What's up, Maya? I need to talk to Uncle. Is he here? Maybe. What's it worth to you? Uncle's in the other room, Maya. He'll be right back. Shut up, you traitor. You're cutting my profits here. Did you bring us anything from the junk piles? Not today, I'm afraid. Tori, are you causing trouble again? Uncle, while Grub and I were out junking today, we saw ships in the sky. They were definitely battleships of the Chosen heading east. Why are they here again? What are you so afraid of, Maya? They probably didn't even see you. It doesn't matter. The last time they came, when Maya was your age, battles between their own tribes happened here. Mother! Mother! Maya, we have to find shelter. Their ships strayed into our city. Many people died, including your parents. Since then, we've been a city of orphans and elders. It took ten years to rebuild. We can't let that happen again. Whatever. I know. I know. You and Maya have taken care of us ever since. You can never let us forget. You're too young to really remember the devastation. As your teacher, Aziz, would say, history falls into cycles, my boy. Mayor, what's the meaning of this? Search the place. They're hiding in here somewhere. Good day, Uncle. Good day, Miss Maya. It's, it's a, a fine, fine day, day, isn't it? Yes. The fresh air would do wonders for you, Uncle. All right, all right, enough. We're not here to eat lunch. We're here to arrest smugglers. You'll find no lawbreakers amongst the junkers. I'm the mayor of this town, and I can do as I like. Someone is smuggling weapons from the junk piles to a city on the world show below. Now, their greed is going to get us all killed. This has gone too far. Get out of our house. Now! Oh, don't think this is over. Where well, there's trouble, it's always the Junkers at the heart of it. Goodbye. Oh, shut up. Where did Tori go? I'm not sure. Probably to class. A place you are probably late for as well, Maya. Perhaps you can ask your teacher about these ships you saw.
What's up? Have you seen Grubb recently? Just this morning. Well, don't tell him. But Mayer is trying to duplicate his precious work pots. You think he can? Mayor? Not on your life. Hey, you guys. You're staying away from the desert, right? We're not afraid to go out, Maya. Yeah, we're not afraid of anything. How's the junkin' business these days? Pretty good. I tell you, there must be something going on up on the shell above. They're dumping junk like there's no tomorrow. Hello there. Would you care to buy anything? <laughs> uh, don't you have something better to do than to loiter around? I saw some strange ships pass overhead today. Oh, they didn't head this way, did they? No, I think they were heading for Shell 3. Should we at least warn everyone, just in case? <laughs> just what do you expect to do? Fight them off with junk? You shouldn't treat Grub's workbot so bad. You have to show him who's boss. And we know who that is, don't we? Yeah, right. Work faster, bot! I wouldn't count on Grub to repair the workbots if you break them. That sheet? I wouldn't let him near them anyway. They're mine now. Well, he wouldn't have left if you had used the bots for what he intended them for. Collecting junk from the desert. Ah, Grub's too narrow-minded. There are millions of uses for the bots. <laughs> you just wait and see. How is it going, Mayor? Uh, better if these infernal machines would work faster. Sorry, Sorry sir. How's your back, Gozel? Not too good, Maya. That mayor's making my life miserable. What's he doing now? Going around making like he's all important and all, causing more trouble than he's worth. Oh, mayor worries me. As he should. I think he has his eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> 